Joining us tonight, Arkansas Attorney General Leslie Rutledge, also Vice Chair of the Republican Attorneys General Association. And it's great to have you in New York City in the studio. Well, thank you, Lou. It's good to be here. Uh, your thoughts about uh, Judge Gorsuch, uh, how he's performed over, I mean, that, that hearing is still going at this very moment. They're in recess right now. But, uh, I mean, it's been a, a marathon. It has been. I think Judge Gorsuch is demonstrating why President Trump selected him. He has handled the questions from the senators with class and grace, talking about the importance of a fair judiciary and why he will not answer the questions on specific issues that they have asked him to. And unfortunately, uh, we have too many senators that are wanting a judge to only agree with their point of view. Right. Well, you know, that would be the best outcome, I suppose, as long as I, it was, you know, my view or your view, uh, you know, that would be prevailing. I, I, you have said, and I, I thought this was interesting, uh, American liberals have become addicted to the courtroom, so much so that even Al Franken today started playing a, a lawyer on television. I, I mean, it was really quite a performance. Perhaps. Not very well, but it was funny, well, and but it was decimating for him. Well, perhaps the senator should stick with comedy and yeah. uh, not, you know, try to be a lawyer, particularly against someone with the acumen that Judge Gorsuch has and has yeah. demonstrated. Yeah, a serious uh, fellow, obviously. He is, and, and someone that I think will do a fantastic job on Supreme Court uh, once this nomination process is through. Uh, you, you uh, give us your sense, if you would, because... Uh, Mitch McConnell today said something I found very troubling, and that is the possibility, uh, if not the prospect, uh, that the Democrats are really moving here toward not filling J uh, Justice Scalia's seat at all, that that might be their, uh, their, their end game. Well, if that is, in fact, their end game, that's a sad state of the Democratic Party and the Democratic leadership, that they would rather have a vacancy for four to eight years on the court than to fill it with someone who is qualified, who has gone on the record time and again of stating the importance of an independent and fair judiciary. When people go into the courtroom, Lou, that's what they want. They want a judge, and that's what they expect, a judge who is fair and independent and who will only read the law and not put his or her own thoughts and own preferences into the law, but strictly look at the law and uphold and defend the rule of law. As Attorney General of Arkansas, well, I want to ask you, because we're not hearing what I thought would be a focus uh, of the national media, and that is having a president in office who is fighting the drug cartels in Mexico, who is insisting that we build a border wall to stop the methamphetamines, the marijuana, the heroin and cocaine, that the majority of which crosses that border from Mexico. And... and we're watching the left-wing national media, the left itself, ignore uh, the challenge that, uh, that, that President Trump has taken on here. They have, unfortunately, as you say, Lou, ignored this. And we, have, we do have a president that is wanting to fight crime, to take the fight to the inner cities, to stop the influx of illegal drugs, of illegal, dangerous, violent criminals into our country. And we have a president that's willing to stand up for the American people because they have been the silent majority that have uh, been harmed by the influx of those things. We also have an epidemic of prescription drug abuse. And that's why we've seen the rise of heroin coming across our border and coming into our cities and a number of overdoses as a result of that. Right, an, an epidemic of them nationwide. It has been. Attorney General, great to have you with us. Thank you, Lou. For Attorney that. General Leslie Rutledge of the great state of Arkansas. Great to have you here. Thank you, Lou. Look forward to seeing you.